Hi guys, thanks for joining me in my weather lessons. Some of the past few lessons that I did, we spoke about big storms such as thunderstorms, tornadoes, severe storms, and also hurricanes. So this time around, I thought I would talk about a severe winter storm, otherwise known as a blizzard. And there's an example of a blizzard at the Long Beach Boardwalk. You can see that heavy snow, strong winds and the drifting snow. It's really a pretty sight, but a blizzard is a very dangerous winter storm with heavy snow and also very strong winds. We need low temperatures, strong winds, and lots of blowing snow, and that makes a pretty dangerous weather condition. Blowing snow can make it difficult to see far. So typically when a blizzard comes, you can't see far, and that's why we say don't travel during this strong winter storm. So when does just a regular snowstorm become a blizzard? Well, there's a few items that you need. We need the winds to blow of speeds of at least 35 miles per hour. Oftentimes the winds are stronger. Visibility, or basically how far you can see, is under a quarter of a mile. So let's say you step out your front door and go out into the street. If you look down towards the end of your block, you couldn't see. So that's how far a quarter of a mile is. These conditions must last for at least three hours. And then after the blizzard, look at this. You have these big snow drifts, big piles up on the side of the street and on top of cars as well. It's fun to play in, but it is a pain in the neck to clean up and it can take days to clean up after a blizzard. If you hear a meteorologist saying whiteout conditions are expected during a big snowstorm or blizzard, what does that mean? Well, powdery blowing snow makes it almost impossible to see. You can see in this picture here, headlights of cars, but really nothing else. So that is some pretty scary stuff. That's when sky and land seem to just blend together and everything just looks white and you can kind of lose your sense of direction and maybe even get dizzy in those kind of conditions. So how do blizzards form? Well, we need cold air at the surface to make the snow. So when precipitation falls from a cloud, it's snow and it stays snow when it reaches um, the ground or the surface. We need moisture to make clouds and precipitation and the ocean is our neighbor. So that is our source of nature, of, of, excuse me, moisture here at home. We also need warm, moist air rising over cool air to create the clouds and a very strong high pressure system bumping into a strong low pressure system. That creates the strong winds that we see with a blizzard. All right, so once a blizzard rolls on through and it brings us all that snow and it's over, well, then you can have a ground blizzard. So what's that? Snow or ice on the ground is lifted up and it's blowing around. There's no more snow falling from the sky, but visibility is low and that makes it difficult to drive around or just to be outside even after the storm has passed. So if you're walking on the sidewalk or the street here, you can't see much and you can see the storm is gone, the sky is blue. So blizzard conditions can often continue long after the storm is gone. Where do blizzards most often occur? Well, we see them across the Northeast and here at home, as we were just saying. They can happen really anywhere around the world where it's cold enough to snow, but especially where it's really cold in the upper Midwest and Northern Great Plains. And here's a fun little fact for you. You know the tropics down south, our Caribbean islands? Well, some of those islands have big mountains and the higher up you go in the sky, the colder it gets. So we can even see blizzards in the tropics. That's kind of crazy and kind of neat when you think about it. Recent blizzards on Long Island. Well, back in 2018 on January 4th, we had a blizzard, brought us about 11 to 16 inches of snow. Pretty neat there on the satellite. There it goes, swirling along the coast. And then before that, we did have a few other, but a notable one, February 8th to 9th in 2013. Parts of Suffolk County had over 30 inches of snow. So that was a crazy one. I certainly remember that well. The, sh the um, purple shading here shows you where that really heavy snow swath was right along the coast. So some neat, interesting stuff. All right, so next time in your next lesson, I figured I would kind of keep up the theme here with strong to severe or big storms. So next time around, we'll talk about nor'easters.